Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, my name is Ali. On this channel, we talk about making money online. If this is something you're interested in, click that subscribe button and continue on watching. I was just looking at my M1 Finance um, uh, stocks or my app, and I was looking at something over here, even though there were... Uh, uh, overall, if you guys look at my holdings, by the way, everything's looking really, really good. Look at that 13% gain and return 9.6, so it's looking really nice. But if you come down here and look at the gains, for example, if you sort them out by gain, you see down here where it says uh, G O O G alphabet and then G O G O O G L alphabet. And I was wondering what's the difference between these two different holdings. This one is, um, uh, bah, 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 let me see here. Let's go ahead and click on that first one. First one doesn't have, uh, it's Goo Goo or Goo Goo Goog G O O G. That's the first one. And let's, um, look at the profile real quick. I don't know what the difference between this one. I know they're all both owned by Google and, um, uh, but they do different things. Let's see what this one does. Alphabet, Inc. is a holding company, which engages in the business of acquisition and operation of different companies. It operates through the Google and other Bet segments. The Google segment includes its main internet products such as ads, Android, Chrome, hardware, Google Cloud, Google Maps, Google Play, Search, and YouTube. The other Bet segment consists of businesses such as Access, Calico, Capital G, GV, Verily, Waymo, and X. The company was founded by Lawrence E. Page and Sergey Mikhailovich Brin on October 2, 2015 and is headquartered in Mountain View, California. Show less. That's very interesting. Did you guys know Waymo is actually uh, is, is, uh, a self-driving vehicle? And it's also is in business right now in, um, I believe, out in Vegas. Let me look it up real quick. Not, uh, yeah, over there in Arizona. Let me look up Waymo. And it's owned by, um, it's owned by, um, ba -da -ba -da, by Google. Let's look up Waymo real quick. Let's see what they have to say about it. <coughs> Self-driving vehicles. Anytime, uh, anytime you guys see those vehicles with those weird uh, uh, radars and lidars installed on the side, they got cameras everywhere, and they just look like they're something from the future. Those are actually owned by Google. So, okay, the first stock is actually... I've always wanted to invest in Waymo. I didn't know Waymo was uh, was a part of uh, which one is this now? Let me see. It's G O Alphabet G O O G, and the second one. But as you guys, you guys, you guys just see right here. Clearly, it's it's doing very well. Let me go back to the main screen. Let me go back to the main screen here, and um, back to holdings. sort them by gain. The ones that are not doing good right now uh, are Apple and um, <coughs> excuse me and uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Both of these are down right now, but every, everything else is up. But anyway, so you got you got G O O G and then G O O G L, but they're both Alphabet, and I know they're owned by Google. Anyway, let's go back and look at Waymo for a second, real quick which is uh, the self-driving vehicles. Is that Spanish? It shouldn't be that. Let me go back. Uh, the world's most experienced driver. Yeah, you can actually summon a vehicle in Vegas and have it bring you out coffee or show up and <coughs> pick up your mom or your dad and take you whatever you want to do, whatever you want to go and... Uh, in um, Arizona, yeah, they're everywhere now, so it's pretty incredible. I don't understand why this thing's not an image. This cannot be the real page. Let me, uh, let me try and let me go over here. Let me go Google Details. Come down here. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. That's why. Let me go to Marketplace News. There we go. That's what we want. Let's do a little more research on Waymo. Um, 
Excuse me. Yeah. That's it. That's the main thing. Let's go down here. Okay. What do you think about this deal with the company? Self-driving. I'm all about it. I don't know how you guys feel about uh, self-driving vehicles and EV vehicles. Some people are against it. Some, pe some people are with it. I'm actually, I'm all for it. If we can outsource the driving part to a, a robot or an AI, I'm all for it. Waymo LLC, formerly known as the Google Self-Driving Car Project, is an American autonomous driving technology company headquartered in Mountain View, California. It is a subsidiary of Alphabet Inc., the parent company of Google. Google's development of self-driving technology began in January 2009, one, at the company's Google X lab run by co-founder Sergey Brin, two, the project was launched by Sebastian Thrun, director of the Stanford Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, SAIL, and Anthony Lewandowski. Founder of 510 Systems and Anthony's Robots. 3. 4. The project was renamed Waymo in December 2016 following a corporate restructuring of Google. Waymo operates commercial self-driving taxi services in Phoenix, Arizona and San Francisco, California. In October 2020, the company expanded the service to the public, and it was the only self-driving commercial service that operates without safety backup drivers in the vehicle at that time. 5. 6, 7, 8, Waymo also develops driving technology for use in other vehicles, including delivery vans and Class 8 tractor trailers for delivery and logistics. 9, Waymo is run by co-CEOs Tekidra Mawakana and Dimitri Dolgov. 10, the company has raised $5.5 billion in multiple outside funding rounds. 11, Waymo has partnerships with multiple vehicle manufacturers to integrate Waymo's technology, including with Mercedes-Benz Group AG, Nissan Renault, Stellantis, Jaguar Land Rover, Volvo, and Geely. 12, Alphabet, Inc. is a holding company, which engages in the business of acquisition and operation of different companies. It operates through the Google and other Beth segments. The Google segment includes its main internet products such as ads, Android, Chrome, hardware, Google Cloud, Google Maps, Google Play, Search, and YouTube. The other Beth segment consists of businesses such as Access, Calico, Capital G, GV, Verily, Waymo, and X. The company was founded by Lawrence E. Page and Sergey Mikhailovich Brin on October 2, 2015 and is headquartered in Mountain View, California. Show less. Sorry about this, guys. I just noticed that the volume was turned down. <laughs> anyway, so basically what I realize now that both of these uh, shares or, or uh, stocks, if you go back here and look at the, look at both, <clears throat> excuse me, look at both G-O-O-G uh, and G-O-O. O G L. So basically, the one with the L on the end is an actual Alphabet company, or I mean, a Google company, the one that relies on uh, uh, revenue from ads and so on and so forth. And the one on top over here, just G O O G, uh, they get their uh, revenue from uh, Waymo and other. Uh, so they're pretty much they separated. Okay, I'm glad I got them both. When I first opened up this. Um, M1 finance um, uh, account. I've, I've always been fascinated with Google, and I like what they're always what they have done. And I randomly just uh, purchased both of these stock, thinking, you know what? If I don't like it, I can always change it later. And uh, so far, they haven't let me down. They're doing pretty good. I don't know what's going on with Apple here, as you guys can see. They've been on a hiatus for a long time. They're like, they're just. Uh, 
I mean, iPhone 14 came out and it really didn't uh, budge the the, the, sh the, the the shares at all. It's not helping in, in, in any way possible. What else we got here? But no, look, guys. I mean, look, you got Meta's doing well. Tesla's doing well. Amazon's doing well. Vanguard, Microsoft, uh, Alphabet, and another Alphabet. They're all doing great. I mean, I am really, really impressed. Uh, I only have one pie. I called it tech pie because all these companies that I have here is, are uh, tech companies except for the one ETF that I have in here, which is a Vanguard. And that thing's been performing really, really well. So right now, um, uh, what do we got? Uh, gain is uh, $13.23. Uh, and, uh, and return is 9.06%, which is pretty good on both sides. Okay, a uh, combination of market capital gains and dividends earned that's pretty good 13 13 dollars okay you come down here return return is money weighted return of this investment i have no idea what that means i hope you guys enjoyed today's uh video if you're uh new to my channel please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you're interested in getting free stocks just click the link below and um, you'll be able to uh, open up a new um, M1 Finance account for free and purchase $10 worth of stock to get you started. Uh, if you are part of my channel, I want to thank you guys so much and I appreciate your support and I appreciate you for uh, the follow. I, I thank you so much for the follow. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon and best of luck to you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And uh, if you want to start with M1 Finance, the link is going to be below. Thank you.